repairing your M-series subwoofer and troubleshooting related subwoofer issues. Subwoofer pairing. Before pairing, switch off your soundbar and subwoofer using the rear power switches for 60 seconds. Now switch both the subwoofer and soundbar on using the rear switches and press the power button on the soundbar control panel. The soundbar power light will show blue. With the system switched on, look at the rear of the soundbar and subwoofer and locate the recessed pairing button. With the paperclip or stick, press and hold the recessed button on the back of the subwoofer for 6 seconds. The status light should flash. If it doesn't flash, start this process again. Repeat the 6 seconds recessed button press on the soundbar. Press the recessed subwoofer button for 1 second. Now press the recessed button on the soundbar for 1 second. The status lights on the back of the soundbar and subwoofer should become solid within 30 seconds. This indicates successful pairing. Intermittent sound from the subwoofer or wireless channel change. If you are experiencing subwoofer dropouts or the sound is interrupted with a flickering light on the subwoofer, it may be because of interference of the wireless signal. A channel change may solve this problem. On the back of the soundbar, with the system switched on, press the recessed button for one second. The status light on the subwoofer will flash once to indicate that the wireless channel has changed. Change the channel two or three times as strong interference can affect signals in the next channel. Note, there are 11 channels, so you may need to repeat the procedure a few times to find the best channel. Please note that once the channel is changed, it is saved in memory even when the system is powered off.